Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brandon and I am the Accidental Excelist. This is uh, video number nine in a series of video tutorials I'm doing on creating a simple access CRUD style app or tool. And so far what we've done is we've added our customers table and this database tool is gonna be just one single table in the database. And we populated this with some fictitious data we downloaded from a website called Mockaroo. And if you want to um, see more about that, you can check the first video in this playlist, uh, video number one or tutorial number one. And then we've also created our new customer form. And in the last video, we created our close button, our save button. This video, we're going to focus on creating a new form. It's going to be our main form. And what this is going to be is uh, there's not going to be any uh, form elements like text, uh, boxes or drop downs or anything like that to actually enter data. It's just going to serve as our main user interface for when we open the file. Um, and then it's going to have buttons that will navigate you to this new customer form. It will also navigate you to a form that we've yet to create. We'll create in uh, subsequent videos uh, that will allow you to view the current data from the customer's table. And then we'll also put a third button in there that's going to be uh, basically just an exit button to exit out of the application. So without further ado, let's do that. Let me just one quick moment. I'm going to open up our file that shows us what we're headed for. So if you missed the introduction video, you may not have seen this yet, but this is the uh, basically this is the the app that we're going after. This is our main form and this is what we're going to create in this video. We're going to um, put a couple of uh, visual elements in here, some rectangles with some background colors to just make it look a little more professional, get some separation between the top part where we've got our customer database um, label in here and our logo and then our button elements that get us to where we need to go. Again, we've got this view all, we'll have add new and then exit the app. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on to uh, creating this. All right, so the first thing we need to do, and we've kind of been down this path before when cr we created the new customer form, is we want to go to the Create tab. And I'm, again, just a reminder, I'm in Microsoft Excel. I'm sorry, not Excel, <laughs> Access 2016. And so you go to the Create tab, and then we want to go to this Forms group here. But instead of using the Forms wizard like we did before that gives us all the fields, the, the available fields from the table that we want to uh, link that to, we're not... We're not actually creating a form to enter any data into a table. So let's cancel that and let's go to form design. Then this grid comes up and it gives us this default form one. And so this is our starting point. So the first thing I want to do is I'll click into that grid and notice the detail bar here um, darkens. And so I want to go to the bottom. It's down here a little over five inches in height. And I'm going to go down here until that double-sided arrow shows up. Uh, click on that, grab it, bring it up a little bit, maybe about to two and a half. We may change that as we go along. But then I want to bring, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that there. So the first thing I want to do is let's bring in our background colors, um, like our rectangles. So we want that separation where we have like the white rectangle background on the uh, top side of the form and that dark gray background. So. I'm going to go to controls on the design tab and I'm going to scroll down the uh, controls collection here till I get to the rectangle and that's in between list box and the checkbox element. So click on that and when you come down in here into your grid, you see that plus symbol with the little rectangle in the, uh, I guess that would be the southeast quadrant, so to speak, or the lower right hand side of that where the cursor is. I'm just going to click left click and start to drag. And it doesn't have to be totally precise at this point, but I'm gonna come all the way over to that. Actually, I'm gonna come over to the six line. And when I let go, it gives you this orange outline showing your element. And while that's there, if I hover over any of the outlines, that four-sided arrow will allow me to grab this and drag it. So I'm gonna grab it, drag it all the way to the upper left corner of the form. Now I'm going to kind of bring that down about, I don't know, halfway-ish. And then over again to the six inch mark. And now I want to give it a white background. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to uh, the format tab and I'm going to come over here to this control formatting group and I'm going to go to shape fill and I'm going to select white. And I'm going to go to, actually I'm, I was going to go to shape outline, but 
just ignore that. So let's let's move on. So uh, now we can real quickly go to the home tab and go to form view and we can see we've got this white background uh, rectangle with this uh, outline here. So cool, we're in good shape there. Let's go back to design view. And in fact, I do wanna go back now that I think about it, go back to the uh, format tab and I'm gonna go to shape outline and it's currently got this gray outline. You saw that when we were in form view. I wanna make that a white background because we're gonna actually add uh, not a background, but uh, outline. We're going to actually add a an outline to the entire form once we get the other um, rectangle in here. So that's what we're going to do now. So actually, let me go back and show you in form view. Now you see no outline, so it's hard to even, well, you can't even see the rectangle, but it's there. So let's go back to design view real quick, and let's uh, add another rectangle let's just do that like we did before and i'm just again it doesn't have to be precise i'm just going to lay it out here real quick and then do some uh editing so i've got that four-sided arrow and i'm going to scoot that up to the left edge and i'm going to bring it up to where it actually kind of overlaps the white rectangle right now then i'm going to grab this corner where i get this diagonal double-sided arrow so i can kind of manipulate both the width and the height. And I'm gonna bring it all the way over to that six inch line again, so it's in line with the first or the top rectangle. And I'm gonna bring it all the way down to the bottom of the form. So, um, or you know what, actually, let me bring that back up. I'm not gonna bring it all the way to the bottom of the form because I, I wanna be able to move that if I wanna see it, if it's, you know, I don't like the sizing of it once we start to see it in uh, form view. Uh, you can see the outline here in form view, but let's go back to design view, and then let's go to the format tab, let's shape fill, and let's select like this dark gray. I like that gray. And then let's, um, let's match the outline to that color. So the outline is currently that default gray, and I wanna make sure, so I've got this gray here, which if you hover the, over that, it says black text one, lighter 15%. So it's almost black, but not quite. So I'm gonna select that same color for the shape outline right there. And then if we go to, um, I'm sorry, we go to form view, we can see that, uh, that rectangle there. And we've got the white rectangle on top, but you just can't see an outline because we don't have one right now. So let's go back to design view again. Let's address that. Okay, so to do this, I'm actually going to uh, open up this form a little bit more to give me some room to work. And then I'm going to click outside in that grid area to unhighlight that uh, bottom rectangle. And I'm going to go back up here to controls, grab another rectangle. And uh, so I'm going to draw this out to surround both of these rectangles. So I'm just going to draw that out kind of crudely there and then, and then bring that up to the top left corner. And then I'm going to use this um, lower right corner handle to grab this and bring it up to the bottom of that second rectangle, which I don't know, it looks like it's just less than two and a half inches on that ruler on the left side and then to the six on the top ruler. So now you see it surrounds both of those. And the only reason I'm doing this is so I can create a border that'll look kind of nice. And so I'm gonna do shape outline on that one and I'm going to use that same color I used for the bottom rectangle. And so when I go to uh, form view, you can see it's got a nice border on that top that matches in size with the bottom one. So we're good to move on to the next step and what that's gonna be is to add our customer database label on the form. So I'm gonna go over here to controls and the third selection over with that uppercase A, lowercase A is label. And so I'm gonna click on that and activate that and we get the plus sign with the little uh, uppercase A. And then I'm gonna click and drag and the cursor's already blinking, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in customer database. And uh, there's a couple of things I need to do to this. That's, I'm not gonna leave it like that. I don't like the font size and I don't like the uh, outline on the rectangle. And be careful if you click outside that you'll click into your rectangle element. You wanna be sure and click outside of all that in the grid and then click back into that um, label box to get to get that highlighted because if you just click outside it knows notice what happens the rectangle that it's within gets highlighted and if you start to drag or click and drag you'll mess that alignment up so just be cautious on that 
So notice here in caption, we've got customer database. You can uh, edit your caption in here, whatever's inside that label here in caption over in the property sheet as well. Just wanted to show you that. You can rename it. So I'll just copy and paste from caption. Control V, I'll remove that space. It doesn't need to have a space since it's just a label and uh, yeah, a name. And I'll use LBL as kind of a naming convention. So if you needed to refer to that for some reason, uh, we won't, but if you needed to refer to that in like a macro or something, that's you know helpful to have sort of a naming convention so you know what something is instead of it saying like label eight. So anyway, that's how you do that. The other thing we wanna do, let's go down to font size here. And I'm going to change that to, let's go to, let's check out 24. I like that. That's about right. And then I want to go back up here to format while that's selected and go to shape outline and change that to white. And then I can also go down here with the, uh, the box, the element box uh, highlighted in orange. Go down to that handle in the middle on the bottom and then double click that and it'll resize that. I think I like where it's at. Let's bring it down a little bit. Now we can go to uh, form view and it's looking pretty good. Looks good to me. Uh, the only other thing we might want to do is maybe match this gray here, but it's okay. I like it. It's up to you what you want to do. You can always do that. And just to show you, you can go back here to, you. well, you can actually change it. If you were to highlight that, you can actually uh, go in here to format and change your font color. But you just make sure you highlight the text you want to change the color on. And you can also, let me just highlight that and show you. You can also go down here to four color. So I change that to red. So that's uh, probably a little bit easier if you're in the property sheet anyway down here. Go down to four color under your font properties. And then you can change it there. And it's got, it's even got things by the theme, color themes. And uh <clears throat> So here's your color themes. But if I wanted to, I could just change that to that darker gray, almost black. And it changes to that. And then you can go to your form view and see um, maybe a little darker than I care for. And again, this is personal preference. You, you can do what you want. Uh, but let me go back to, I don't know, what was it like that? Yeah. So anyway, that's your label. Uh, the next thing we want to do, kind of cool thing. Let's go to create, not create. Let's go to, I'm sorry, let's go to design. <laughs> And I want to click outside the element. Notice that this, I'm going to go for this insert image to insert our logo, but I have to be selected in the form grid for that to not to be grayed out. When it's in these other elements, you can't insert an image into these elements. It has to be inserted into the form. So we'll do that. I already had some logos up, but I'm going to go to browse just to show you. So browse to the location of your um, image I'm using this logo, 2018 logo. Click OK. Then you get this same thing like we got for the rectangle and for the label. You get this plus symbol with um, the icon for image there in the lower right quadrant. And so I'm going to kind of click and drag that out and then leave that at that. We can go to form view. Looks good to me like that. So we'll leave it at that and let's get on to our buttons. In fact, this uh, video has gone a little long. We've got everything kind of set up the background. So I'm going to... Um, stop it here, uh, take a little break, and then uh, in the next video, we'll add our buttons and link that uh, add new button up to our new customer form. So if you're following along and uh, up to this point and your form is starting to look like that, uh, good job, pat yourself on the back, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe, and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com.